Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time being here, I would just like to say welcome. Thank you so much for watching one of my videos. I appreciate it more than you know. My name is Lisa Huff. I am a hairstylist who has been in the industry for over seven years, a studio suite owner in central Illinois, and I am here to be your go-to girl for all things hair. So in today's video, um, I am taking you into the salon. We're doing a little bit of a formulation video. I want to apologize in advance. I filmed the foiling and balayaging of this video and all of those clips when I went to upload them onto my camera said they were corrupt. Um, I know that's super frustrating. I'm sorry. I wish that I could put out a little bit better of a video for you guys this week, but I do think that there's still value in it. I was going to ditch it all, but I was like, no, I can still show the formulations. There's one clip that like pans around of me showing you my placement and all of that. So hopefully that helps. I will voice over a little bit to try to explain what I did. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Again, thank you for watching. Today we are working on my client Angie. She has been every color under the sun, purple, red, some blues, uh, blonde, dark, peach. You'll rec recognize her because she's in a lot of my videos. She's one of my favorites. She always has fun. She's always got something fun for me to do. So she dropped a bombshell on me and said that she wants to try to go blonde. Thankfully, Angie is super understanding, super laid back. She knows it could take a long, long, long time to get her fully blonde, but we are starting that process today. So I do, I pack in a bunch of baby lights, do some painting, um, and then I end up having to tone her pretty warm because we were breaking through a lot of warmth. Um, and if you guys want to see how I do that transformation, then just keep watching. Okay guys, let's get into this. So you can see Angie's before, she's got a very dark root, a lot of reddish, violetish through the mids, and then down to like a copper blondish on the bottom. I mixed up two lightener formulations. So one bowl is 20 volume and one bowl is 30 volume. I am starting by packing in baby lights so I am putting 30 volume on those darker red spots and then once I get that kind of copper blonde um, ends I put the 20 volume over that um, I go back and check very frequently as always um, like I said some of these clips did get corrupt so I will leave a bunch of different tutorials down below of how I like to baby light, how I like to balayage. I used a very similar technique as my blonde AF um, video. I almost want to like call this my signature technique now because it's where I just pack in baby lights. I'm a freak and every time I do baby lights I like to go back like very frequently and check my sections because I never want a foil to get over processed. So once my foils reach the point that I want them to instead of like going to the shampoo bowl and rinsing them out I just wipe them dry with my fingers. I feel like once you wipe that lightener off it kind of just dries up and stops working and then after I have done a whole section I like to group that section all together and paint the ends so I did that for Angie um, here in this next clip you can see kind of the placement some of those baby lights you can see in the front are dropped out you can see that like bright yellow color that we got pulled to um, and then you can see how I kind of painted some of her ends as well uh, so I just keep an eye on this until it is ready. There's those baby lights you can see. Um, I did do some teasy lights. That's why some don't go as far up to the scalp. I know this looks kind of scary when you look at it, but um, when you split this mohawk section down the middle, it actually falls very light and gentle. And of course, I'm doing a root smudge and a toner formula. So the reasoning behind those like kind of uh, uneven foils is because I want that super organic, natural looking um, kind of blend. I will film a video soon on how I do teasy lights uh, to give you a better idea. I don't know if I've ever done anything like that in detailed. Um, and again, I'm sorry I don't have the application of that, but here is kind of the placement. And then here is what I toned her back at the shampoo bowl with. So her ends pulled to a uh, 
seven ish in some spots, eight in some spots, nine. Um, so I mixed nine NW. 7CB, 7G, 7N, and 08V. Um, I know this is kind of like a confusing mix, but you will see when we're done. I wanted to tone out some of the really harsh yellow, but I still wanted to work with that beautiful warmth. So I add some gold back in. I still tone it out with the violet, which kind of neutralizes that. Um, I am very pleased with how this toner formulation came out. And then, of course, I had Olaplex. Um, I apply that at the bowl, let number two sit, and then we brought her back and we did a smudge root. Now the smudge root I did 06CR, 04N, and 05NW. I just did a drop of that CR. I am trying to get rid of the red, but I didn't want to just do neutral and have the root look muddy next to everything else. So I did need to kind of co incorporate that warm family back into her root. I am using Olaplex in that formulation as well and my favorite product club. Um, um, wide soft bristle brush. I love doing root smudges with this. I will tag a video down below where I do root smudges as well. Um, actually in that blonde AF tutorial I do a root smudge so you'll see how I do that. I like to do it on wet hair. Um, I drag it down further in the back not as far up front to kind of uh, mimic what the sun would do to your hair. So after I do all that, I blowed her out and I styled her and look at this beautiful color. Here is indoor lighting. I am super excited. You can kind of see how some of those highlights go all the way up to the root. And then here is a little clip from my phone and outdoor lighting. Um, again, you guys, I'm super sorry I didn't have application videos for any of this, but I hope this inspired you a little bit and just gave you some um, toner formulations to go to for these situations. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week in my next video. Bye.